I hope your spring semester is off to a great start. My name is Brian King and I serve as Chancellor for the Four Los Rios Colleges, American River College, Cosumnes River, Folsom Lake College, and Sac City. Normally at this time of year, I have a chance to be at all four of our colleges on convocation, and my role is to give a presentation. We tried something different this semester that I really enjoyed and spent all day at Sacramento City College and was able to listen to their conversation about equity and improving outcomes for students of color. I know our other three colleges have similar conversations underway, and I can't begin to tell you how exciting it is to hear the great work going on at our colleges. So while it's important sometimes for me to share information, I very much enjoyed the opportunity to listen and look forward to opportunities this semester at all four of our colleges to listen and give you an opportunity to share the great work that's happening at the colleges. And because I didn't give a convocation presentation at each college, I wanna take this opportunity to briefly share with you three important updates that affect all of us. First of all, an update on the state budget. Secondly, an update on the Los Rios Promise. And thirdly, an update on our guided pathways progress across our four colleges. On the budget, this is Governor Newsom's first budget after eight years of Governor Brown. Great expectations for the new governor and we weren't disappointed with what we have seen from the proposed budget. Keeping in mind the initial budget goes through many iterations before final approval in late spring and early summer. The headlines in Governor Newsom's budget are first of all, great news on a cost of living adjustment. The recommendation is a 3.46, almost 3.5% COLA, which is the largest proposed COLA in at least 10 years. In addition, Governor Newsom proposed $3.5 billion allocated to STRS retirement and the unfunded liability. So those are very encouraging proposals in the budget. And while those numbers seem like an abstraction, when you think about what that means at our local colleges, it's a chance to maintain compensation for our staff and also hire new positions when available and when appropriate, and also to address pressing issues like public safety. Recently, our Board of Trustees approved salary increases for our law enforcement officials, expressing how high a priority it is to find and retain the best officers as a part of our efforts to maintain safety for our students faculty and staff. So that's really good news on the budget. A third point on the budget is that Governor Newsom has retained the new funding formula that was approved by Governor Brown and the legislature last year, but he has proposed the phasing the implementation of the funding formula over a longer period of time. We're really encouraged by that proposal because it will give us more chance to unpack the intended and unintended consequences of the new funding formula and make sure that we're able to implement the funding formula in a way very consistent with our principles, with our values, and also with an eye to maximizing the resources available to serve our students, faculty, and staff. A related issue to the budget is the Los Rios Promise. So the piece of the budget that impacts the promise is Governor Newsom's proposal to provide a second year of community college free. So this is an expansion of what the legislature did last year, making the first year of community college free for first time, full time students. If the budget proposal uh, is approved, now the second year of community college will be free for first time, full time students. So what a great opportunity for students to enroll in our colleges and know that they'll have a pathway to complete two years tuition free. This fits very nicely with our local effort through the Los Rios Foundation to identify business partners and philanthropic partners to support the Los Rios Promise. We will be making many calls on our friends both in the business community and the philanthropic community in the coming weeks asking them to support the Los Rios Promise. I am excited that we will have great news to share with you about significant contributions coming from those partners to help support Los Rios Promises scholarships and scholarships that will help students address textbook costs living expenses, and even food. As we know, there are so many barriers to our students being successful that we can help through a committed effort through the Los Rios Promise effort. The final headline I wanna share with you has to do with guided pathways at our four colleges. And I am so appreciative of the really hard work happening at our four colleges, and also the understanding that our colleges started the guided pathways work at different points in time and over the last few weeks, we've had meetings where people have come together from our four colleges, and I'm very heartened that our faculty and staff are realizing that we can really learn from one another in implementing guided pathways. And many of you have expressed a desire to have more opportunities 
to come together so you can share the work you're doing. In some cases, learn from mistakes that happen in implementation, and also learn from what's really been highly effective so we don't have to always reinvent the wheel at the college level and can tap into the expertise of the great people we have at all four colleges. In conclusion, I want to say two words that I can never say too much to all of you, and those are thank you. Thank you so much for the hard work you do for our students. Thank you for the commitment you bring to your work. Thanks for the passion that you show. And thanks for your willingness to acknowledge that we have a wonderful tradition of doing things the Los Rios way, but we also have a recognition that the needs of our students are changing. And in some instances, we're gonna do the courageous thing and realize that the way we've done things before can be improved upon as we work together and look to the future. So thank you again for all you do. I encourage you to reach out to me and share ways that I can help support you in the work you do on behalf of our students.